Alright guys, good morning. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of update for you. And I want to update you guys because I feel like a lot of you guys have been really worried about me and I've been worried about myself honestly. So today I'm just going to like chit chat and talk to you about what is going on, what's kind of been going on, what I'm doing to get better and everything like that. So Wow, my smoothie is not coming. Okay. So, first of all, I met with ASU Services for Counseling, Therapy, whatever you want to call it. And then I got referred to a new endocrinologist and um, a new psychologist. And then I was referred at my new psychologist to a psychiatrist. So just for like a little bit of picture, I have like a lot of new people that are coming into my life right now that are like, they have services that I'm using. And um, I'm, you know, I'm opening up. My psychologist that I have she is very she knows what social media is she understands it she specializes in social media addiction and a few other things but like she used to work at asu and now she has her own practice so she really understands college students social media and she gets like the obviously a lot of other things so for me i felt like she'd be perfect met with her and it went really well and then she was like you know sydney like i just want to know Seems like there could be a possibility of bipolar. So I'm just like throwing that out there for you guys. Um, I don't really want that on my record. So I really am not pushing for that even. Because like I feel like a lot of people get labeled bipolar when they're younger. Because like uh, we're a little bit more extreme. Whereas like when we get older everything kind of levels out. Like our highs are here and our lows are here. And now my highs are here and my lows are here. So... I really don't, you can hear my dogs, I really don't want that on my record and I also don't, I know that like if that's on my record that could affect jobs, that could affect other things because it is on the health part and like being bipolar like it is very extreme and it's not a bad thing but like you know I just, I don't know if I feel like I'm actually bipolar, like it's been in my head before because I've been like damn like you know, anyways so the dogs are barking, but I'm going to continue on with this. Um, so then, some other things that I'm implementing into my life, though. I'm going to I'm gonna close my door really quick. I'm not editing that out. Let's close it. Alright, so... Now you'll hear the dogs a little bit less because they're all the way downstairs in the kitchen, which is like super far. Anyways, so some things that I'm implementing in my life right now to get better is I'm implementing a routine and a safety plan and things that are going to help me cope. So I've been like literally at my wit's end and I needed someone to just say, hey, it's me. do this, do this, do this. And then I've been taking tasks like things that have worked for me in the past and I'm using them again. So I'm starting to create a routine because I really need one and I think that that's something that like a lot of people have said, you know, if you have a routine it's going to help you. So I'm starting there. I'm starting by having a morning and night routine because they've said that like that really helps people because if you wake up and you have a routine and things that you do then it helps and if you have a night routine it helps you go to bed better and i feel like everyone has a routine already but like if it's not like a positive one then it's not going to help you so i'm trying to build one that works for me and my schedule and like things i can do then the other thing is i'm incorporating meditation and like deep breathing and stuff because that's super helpful so in the mornings i'm starting to do 10 minutes a day which seriously 10 minutes helps so much and if I can do it later on in the day too, I'm doing it. And this is my last week of classes. And then all I have are, I have like two finals and I'm done. And um, I go back to California pretty soon. 
So it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, Sydney, if you can just get through this and you can really focus on yourself during the summer, focus now, start implementing these things because anything in my life that I've ever needed to do, including health stuff, like when I wanted to lose weight, I didn't say, oh, I'm going to start April 1st. I was like, I'm going to start now with the little things and see results. The other thing too, though, is um, I realized like a lot of these things are going to be implemented over time because for me... It's very hard to just throw myself into doing all these things and then I like forget about the things that are in my daily life that I still need to do. Like, I love doing YouTube, so that's not something that I'll forget. But like, if right now I'm running a huge summer challenge, which, which has over 300 people, pre-sale ends April 28th. So if you're wanting to hop in on this, like everyone is doing so well already and it's like super fun, but implementing all these things in I don't want to forget about the other things which is why I'm doing it slow and steady same with when you're at the gym and you're trying to lose weight you don't go from going not any times a week to seven days a week because if you do that you're probably going to fall off the bandwagon in a month so I really want to do something that's going to work for me so my goal is over the summer when I get back from California and maybe when I'm in California I know that they have yoga studios there and things like that I might get my boyfriend to go with me and like one of the best things is you guys he texted me so I texted him and this is what our text combo was and he's probably be like Cindy why are you telling everyone what we do and what we text about but it's okay he's been so sweet uh, so um he said how was your day and how are you babe and then I said um, I said, want to do hot yoga with me? I like, didn't even answer his question. <laughs> I'm like that a lot, but like, I don't really answer questions. Um, but then I sent him the, like the link and then like the price and then like the link for the schedule of the hot yoga. And he was like, um, he's like, do you feel better? And I said, I had my appointment today. I just want to feel better. And he said, and yes, I will do hot yoga with you. And then I was like, I'm going to have more balance while you are here in a routine. And, he, and I was like, I need a routine. And he said, I can help with whatever it is you need, babe. And it was just so nice to hear that because like a lot of the time people, they're just, they're just like, why can't you just get better? And it was just so nice because like I have the support system and like I have people that really care. Like my parents really care. Um, and like my goal is to go weekly to counseling and therapy because and then like after that maybe bi-weekly because my thing is even though my insurance only covers three sessions and I already used one of them I feel like it's so important for me because uh, I feel like I fell into this because I didn't have anyone to talk to that was in my like out of my life not biased um, and kind of like did they none of these people that I really know have like expertise obviously so like I really didn't want to share anything and I wasn't ready to and I need someone to understand social media because like when I told her about me posting that video, she was like, I can understand that. That's like your coping mechanism. It's easier for you to say that on the camera. Like she like got it. And I was like, okay, good. Like someone gets it. I just like felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders because I was like, okay, Amy and you know, my new one both got it. I was like, this is great. So yeah, that kind of like feels good. Um, but I'm implementing those things. Once summer hits, I want to do some yoga, I want to do some meditation. I might go to this place called Current Meditation, so if anyone lives in Arizona and you guys want to go with me, I'm so down. Um, I'm going to start implementing like going outside more. Toasty is a big part of this. So one of the big things is like my dog Toasty, by the way, I really want to get him a brother. So like, <laughs> if you guys see a cute little Pomeranian that's brown, because Toasty's like brown and white, I really want to get a brown one and name him Alvin. I don't know why, I just want one, but I'm really stuck on that name. And um, I was so close to getting another dog. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so bad. But Toasty plays a big role into this because Toasty is like very calming to me. And um, he's already like my emotional support dog. Like he doesn't have like official title or anything, but like he definitely like, he's like anyone's pet, you know, like they're like your companion. So it's been really nice to have him. He sleeps in his little dog bed because he was kennel trained. So like he doesn't really like to sleep on the bed, even though I give him full permission, <laughs> like he just won't do it. Um, I've been making smoothies in the morning, going back to the whole routine thing. I've just been like trying to figure that out. Um, and then after May, I might get a job, but we'll see because I might just need to take a step back. I'm trying to think of what else. Okay. And so this is the big thing. 
this is the thing that like a lot if you've watched this point this is something that like i feel like i never really told anyone well obviously i told people but there's a few other things i've been struggling with that i'm going to talk about in another video because i feel like they don't they need their own like spotlight kind of they don't deserve to be in a video like this where i'm just talking casually because they are very serious issues um that i've been dealing with otherwise so the other thing though is i need to be present and this is something that i feel like a lot of people say all the time they're like i'm always on my phone i just don't get it and i've been like that too i have not been present i literally am on my phone all the time which is why meditation is kind of like gonna get me grounded but I'm also going to be limiting how often I check my comments, how often I do work, maybe, so like my thing is probably four hours a day, um, every single day, and then one day a week, I'm gonna just take a full day for myself where I put my phone away completely, um, and usually I'll be like hanging out with someone by the time I put my phone away, so I don't have anyone to like, you know, do anything, but I'm really trying to implement being present, because I feel like I might be there in a conversation with someone but I'm thinking about everything else I'm not there I'm not present and I'm not mindful of anything in my life right now and I feel like so one thing is I a lot of the time like you guys ask like, what religion are you Sydney and I am not Jewish um, I'm not Christian I my family is Jewish my my personal spirituality is more towards Buddhism um, I really do believe in the Four Noble Truths. I feel like the end of all suffering is when you stop wanting materialistic things. I believe in Durkha, which is like craving and stuff like that. Like, I believe in those things, but like I also don't, there's like, there's other things that I believe in that come from other religions. So like for me, I'm just kind of spiritual, but I do, do like believe in certain things. But, um, so one of the things for me is the fact that I just want to make sure I'm doing whatever it is to be mindful and to be like fully there, fully present. So when I'm filming a YouTube video, I turn my phone off unless I'm using it for notes or anything like that. Um, if I'm meditating, you know, obviously I'm in that mode for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, however long. Right now I'm doing 10 minute meditations and I'm just really centering myself because I haven't been present. And I know that my boyfriend, he's going to appreciate this because, like, I'm always on my stuff. But when I, he's going to be here for, like, from, I'm going to him on the 2nd of May. And he's going to be coming back with me on the 7th of May and then flying back out on the 21st. So, he's going to be with me for a huge chunk of time. And I decided, you know what, this is a really good thing. This is happening for a reason because, number one, like, one, one thing that, like, people forget is that like you have to take care of yourself but you also have to like be able to maintain friendships relationships and you have to be present in them you can't just like go through it and not know what's going on so something for me that I'm really working on is being present and also more self-care so I started implementing little things so this is something that like you guys are probably like saying it doesn't really matter but I bought myself I invested in some nice new 14 karat earrings because i was like okay like 14 karat gold by the way um white gold earrings because i was like you know what like cindy your ears are always hurting you can't wear earrings for a reason so i invested i spent like a pretty penny like probably 200 per uh year so like about 400 altogether and i was like okay this is like the very little money that you have right now and i was like you know what just do it and then my aunt if you're watching this hey um she saw my youtube video and then she texted me out of the blue and she's like hey you want to get a pedicure because that's our thing we go get pedicures together so i'm gonna show my feet in a video but this is like what i did and i forgot how good pedicures feel because like this past school year i've been like really tight on money and i haven't been in that abundancy like mode if that makes sense because there's like scarcity and abundancy so like scarcity is like when you're saving all your money and you're you know not doing things for yourself like i haven't really gotten a haircut i haven't done anything really and i know i need to because i need to take care of myself and i need to do some self-care because i love having my nails painted on my fingers like i feel so good when they're painted i feel like i'm on top of the world i feel happy and i know that that's like something so weird but it's like the little things that i can do to change things are gonna help so I got the pedicure and I'm going to an event tomorrow and so later today I'm probably gonna go get a manicure because I really want to feel good like I want to feel good um, I'm I know that if I keep going to events like that's gonna help even though it's kind of stressful in the moment 
but I'm going to fitness fast and I'm excited for that. And um, yeah, I mean like these are the basic things that I'm doing right now. I hope that if you guys are struggling with anything that I'm struggling with, I want you to know that like me getting help is hopefully going to help you because I want you to know a few things before I end this video. I want you to know that number one, getting help doesn't make you weak. Number two, finding coping mechanisms and a safety plan for when you are feeling your lowest of your lows, your highest of your highs, and just in between is really going to help too. If you can take any of the coping mechanisms that I have put into this video to help you, I would highly suggest that you can always message me, ask me questions. Um, and obviously, like right now, I'm dealing with like a lot of things on my plate. Like I'm finally finishing my freshman year of, high, uh, of college. And, you know, I put up these pictures in my room because I felt like everything was just so bland. I just had to do things that were going to make me happy. And if you are trying to become happy... There's a point, there's people to talk to, and you know, if you can't afford to go to, to a therapist or anything like that, your parents, you don't want them to know, reach out for help, you know? There are so many hotlines with people that you can call and talk to that are free. And if I were you, I would definitely take advantage of that so you can just talk to someone. And uh, you know, I'm using the app Headspace to meditate. My friend Jess, who is like one of my very, very close friends, if you guys don't know Jess. She and I are going to the pool today, and I'm going to be phones away. We're going to be talking, chatting, you know, having a good time. Obviously, I'm continuing working out. And yeah, so like, it's, I'm just really trying to incorporate a good, healthy lifestyle because like, you know, everyone's like the girl who works out, meditates, you know, eats healthy, always feels the best. And it's true. I need to find coping mechanisms to get me to that point. So... I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I am in a better mood today. My moods go from like every two hours, they'll be like super happy or super sad right now, which is really kind of crappy. But you know, if you can't enjoy the ride of life, what can you enjoy? So I love you guys so much. I am doing a little bit better. It's taking time and it's a lot of a mindset change, but when you're stuck in a mindset, like for me right now, I'm stuck in this mindset where I just feel so empty and lost um, that like you have to just take baby steps and that's what I'm doing but I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video I hope you enjoyed this if you guys are interested in seeing more health videos um, they're gonna be coming back I think you promise and a ton of college videos are coming very very soon because I've just been like so out of it recently that once uh, college is like over with I'm gonna be doing a reflection video and just stuff like that so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. I love you. Bye, babes.